Hello, uh, good afternoon. I'm just having a coffee. I was unboxing this from uh, Token Tommy and I thought, well, why not make a little video? I'm smoking um, a Northern Briars Rocks Cut Bulldog made by Ian Walker on his, um, on his boat. Uh, lovely pipe, nice little silver band there and big bowl um, group, I want to say five, yeah, I think this is a group five, it's, um, it's a big old piece of briar and a lovely, lovely pipe, and um, in it I'm smoking some Gareth Hogarth's Dark Flake, um, <clears throat> as you saw I bought 500 grams of that in my, um, was it my last video, yeah, probably my last video, um, couple of weeks ago um, I've just finished work so I've just got home and a couple of boxes were waiting for me this was one from Token Tommy I bought some tobacco from him thank you mate it's um, it's excellent I've got some vintage Syrian this is the 100 gram one um, nice big tin um, Where's that from? I think it's from um, Spain. Yeah, that's Spanish quite obviously, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, España. I can see it down the bottom now. Um, so 100 grams of that. <clears throat> I've got another one. Another 100 of vintage Syrian. So that will go in the cellar. I've got a couple of other ones, but they're 50s. Uh, so it's nice to have, you know, a couple of hundreds. It's a nice big tin. Um, they age extremely well. Of course, you can't get vintage. You, you can't get Syrian anymore. Um, I think I've talked about that, so I'm not going to go on about it. But <clears throat> partly due to the war, partly due to them stopping the cutting down of Syrian oak. Um, and also I picked up this one from Tom. I <laughs> love that little frog there. Fred the Frog. Another Latakia blend um, from Germany. Made by Dan Tobacco. And um, <clears throat> it says enjoy your pipe but don't smoke in bed at the top. That's a... Uh, that's a great little design, and uh, yeah, I'm going to crack that open. There's the, um, if you're wondering what that is, that's the German tax stamp. Um, a lot of European countries have that, including Holland. Um, yeah, my true slices have that one as well. So thank you, Tom. Appreciate that. Uh, the next box is this one. And um, I think I mentioned I was buying kind of bulk <laughs> uh, which I certainly have been doing. Um, the way I see it is tobacco will not get any cheaper. So <clears throat> what's the point in buying kind of 50 grams? Well, depends what you can afford. But um, I've bought myself a, um, a box of Dark Flake. 500 grams, one of my favourites of all time, a really, really nice tobacco, quite strong, um, it's about coming through, and um, <clears throat> I've also picked up a box of G&H's Brown Flake, the unscented version, which uh, I actually prefer. If I open it up, I'll show you the tobacco inside. Now, what happens with this is um, it tends to uh, dry out in these little packets that um, G&H supply. So you have to end up <coughs> um, vacuum sealing or putting them in a in a um, a kilner. That's the brown flake. That's like a massive plug, isn't it? Look at that tobacco. It's a Big. You can see the individual uh, flakes. They've been cut beautifully. 
and it's like a marble effect on the um, on the tobacco. This is kind of what you'd get. You no, know, it is. It's what you'd get in a tobacconist, and the tobacconist would open the bag and dispense from from there. So yeah, lovely big bag. The smell is wonderful, and um, as I said, I quite I prefer the unscented version of this. I wonder how many flakes are there. I'm not going to count them, but um, <clears throat> I did put them on the scales, and they I think that was five. 550. I think I'll do it now just to just to see. I've got my uh, scales here and I'll tell you exactly how much. Now do I do grams or do I do ounces? I'm going to do grams. We are in the UK. Okay, 510. So it's, um, they're not that far off. So there we go. That's the brown flake, and I'll open the dark flake and show you that as well, I think. And uh, I'm going to vacuum seal these, else they do go dry. I mean, unless you're going to smoke them all at once, then uh, you need to preserve them, don't you, a bit. There we go. There's the brown flake. 500 grams of that. Sorry, not brown flake, dark flake. Ah, it smells wonderful. What a lovely block of tobacco. There we go. So all in all, a very, very good day for the seller and tobacco and, and things. You can see the difference there in the uh, in the colours. Yeah, just about. Very different smells. I'm not going to describe it, but uh, certainly stronger. That dark flake. Wonderful. So really, that's it, guys. Um, a few things for the seller. Um, I'm off this weekend. I've uh, <coughs> got something coming through from my friend Ron. So when that arrives, I'll definitely post a, a video on that. But yeah, just enjoying a pipe and um, a coffee. And thank you very much, Token Tommy. Uh, really appreciate that. And I hope you're all well. And thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everyone. Cheers.